Oh, we're live. Oh, is that nice? Oh, we're live. <laughs> oh, I thought. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. That was uh, Makari. Uh, it always makes me laugh when it says someone is interested in your item. So obviously, someone's liked my item um, or looked at it or whatever. And then it says, try reducing the price. No, thanks. <laughs> have we, I haven't put my glasses on again. Have we sold anything on Makari? Yeah, I've sold a few things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, oh, welcome. <laughs> uh, welcome to our regular Sunday hangout. Uh, my name is Nick. Uh, this is my wife, Andrea. And we are full time resellers. We buy and sell stuff on the internet. Yeah, pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah. And we have a YouTube channel, which is, well, you know that because you're here watching it, uh, where we share what we do, what we get up to. Yeah, we talk about what we do. Yes. Much. Uh, let me pop into the side chat. If you are new here, welcome. There is a live side chat so you can communicate with us, say hello, ask questions, yeah, that sort of thing. And chat to other people as well. Yeah. Lots of other resellers. So please do, please pop in and say hello. <laughs> um, first in today was, do you want to read some names? It was out? Lucy. So hi, Lucy. Um, and Ray and Stephen, Heather, Treasure Pirate, uh, Peter and Baz and the Yorkshire reseller. So hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Yes, welcome all. There are lots more. Um, let me scroll down and do a few more hellos. David Morse, hi there. Baz. Husky Steve. Husky Steve, Meg. <laughs> um, Andrea falling on a bruise is in. Karen's in. Adrian, hi, Adrian. How are you doing? Um, Car did you say Karen yeah. then? Yeah. And, and Kay. Kay's in as well. So hi, Kay. Fantastic. Right. I will scroll mm -hmm. to the end of the chat. Um, sorry if we didn't say hi. We'll be here far too long saying hello. No, literally five minutes ago, we finished our dinner. <laughs> yeah. It was all a bit of a mad rush. Okay. So. Um, I've got a little list of things we want to talk about. Oh, never more antiques is uh, making reference to your T-shirt. Hey, up the mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, Mel's in. Hi, Mel. Um, yeah. Uh, Gavin. Is were you well. saying you're, you're maybe arranging a meetup oh, with Mel? Possibly. Yeah. That'd be nice. That would be cool. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah. Hi, Mel. Um, right. A few things we want to talk about. Um, oh, Lex is in as well. Hey, Lex. <laughs> yeah. This week, we we said our goodbyes to Monty. We, we made a little bit of a video around that. Um, which will be coming out probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's been a, an interesting week. I, I found it quite a relief when once we'd spread the ashes and, and done that. I, I was miserable. It was difficult, wasn't it? It was a miserable day up until that point, and then it felt. Oh, Karen says Mel good. is lovely. I know. I'm I'm hoping there's a video of when you two met up because I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Are you going to make a video if you guys meet up? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, do it. Depends. Depends whether Mel wants to or not. Um. So yeah, yeah going back to the video, um, we, as promised, the super chats that came in um, on that video where I was talking about Monty passing away, we accumulated all of that and some of the private money that's come in, people have sent us money, people have um, PayPal'd us money direct. It was yeah. phenomenal. We collected all of that together. We took it up to the Blue Cross Center, which was where we rescued him seven years ago, and we donated it. And trying to explain it's in the video actually um where we tried to explain what the donation was where it had come to and we explained that monty yeah. had passed away you lost well you asked me you to lost talk the plot. and then i did i lost lost it and then so i took over and i was choked up there oh, I, did. I didn't expect it i was thought i was all together and I yeah had had in my head what i was going to say and then just yeah but I, I found that really Oh, Great. Mel says, there's no possibly about it. It's happening. So, cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Looking forward to that. Well, I, I probably, I guess you'll just go up on your own. Yeah, you're not invited. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <only joking. laughs> um, oh. Yeah. What was I saying? Um, you're talking about donating the money. Oh, God, so. yeah. So, yeah, anyway, um, watch the video if, if you're oh, interested in that. We what? Using. I'm, not, I'm never going to finish say, this sentence. I just saw somebody say, hi, Anya. Where? Yeah. BCP just said, hi, Anya. What, as in your friend, yeah. Anya? Where is she, Anya? 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't see him coming. Are you sure you saw that? Yeah. Look. Hi, Ray. Uh, oh, Anya. Oh. Yeah. Anya, oh. say hi in the chat if you're in. Yeah. Hi, Anya. If you're here. <laughs> Which is our friend from um, Sweden. Yeah. From Holland. Holland. Wow. Right. I was just. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. please watch that video uh, if if you. Oh, want she says to. hi, Nick and Andrea. <laughs> That's Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I keep talking over you. I am <laughs> distracted by the chats at schools. We just but wanted yes. to mention um, that yeah. card as well. And we had a card from Phoebe and Darren, which also had a donation in it. And um so that's been added to the donation. That it was very timely actually, because it came, arrived on Tuesday and that's when we when we went. So um Yeah, so yeah. your donation was added. Um to everyone else's yeah, that was so handed in. Thank you so much for that. Lovely, lovely to receive that. Yeah. I, um, I have started making a video more for us than anything to be able to look back on of all our favourite Monty clips. Yeah, we sat and watched all, well, quite a few of the clips, didn't we? Well, we, we found were, them from yeah. all the various videos so and many accumulated it. There's, of, um, there's like an hour and a half worth of footage. Monday so. motivations. <laughs> yeah, there's so much on yeah. there. So I'm going to have to oh, sift yeah. through that and edit it down because, you know, I don't know. It's just way too much stuff. So we're going to be ruthless and just pick out our favourite clips yeah. and a few photographs. So when I'll do that, I don't know. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry that I spoke over you, but I was, I, there were things that popped up. And when it disappears, you can't you I know. Know, go back. And so I just wanted to say them. But, um, yeah, I mean, you were in the foulest of foul moods on Tuesday <laughs> for very obvious reasons. Um, I, and, I really um, didn't want to. But when we went yeah. to Hitchwood, we all just felt this almost sense of relief, didn't we? It was just like, I don't know if it was the peace of the woods because it was so peaceful in there. Yeah, um, that was the last or, place we went to, to scatter the rest of his ashes. And it was almost and... it was a beautiful moment, actually, when we were in there. Wasn't it? Well, you haven't seen the video yet, but that, I think that comes across. Yeah. Jeff was just saying he won't be able to watch that. It was too sad. It's actually a really positive video. I watched it back tonight, and it's it's really nice. I hope it is anyway. You'll have to let yeah. me know what you think. Okay. Laura says, hi, Nick and Andrea. I am new to reselling. Welcome. Hi, hi Laura. Fantastic. Right. Yeah. So the other thing you may have seen in the title, we have been talking about a – loose idea of another meetup for a long time i spoke to zaheer on the phone the other day unfortunately they can't see that they're going to get down south in the near future yeah now that um you know well Beck's working, working and, and they're they yeah to get time off etc et and with the kids and everything so yeah. well, i was kind of waiting on zaheer to, to pick a date and then we would arrange it around that so unfortunately i don't think zaheer and Beck are coming down so we're just we've just picked a date and we're going to arrange a meetup which is just open to wait for anybody to come along and just just get together yeah now we know um, that there is one going on um that leah um is arranging i think that's not next weekend but the weekend after but it's just a bit far for us to go at the moment we've got some family things that weekend so we've got commitments which we can't really fit that, in the travel and everything because we'd have liked to have gone really but um but yeah um, if you if you're up north that's going to be up north isn't it so if you're north of the country, yeah. perhaps try and make that one. We are doing this one down here. Now, we did discuss um, doing something in London. Oh, Quinn says are Americans invited. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. More well, than welcome. I was chatting to Tom <laughs> earlier, and both of us really like the idea of doing another one in Hitchin. Yeah. So we base it here. It's actually really central. If you can make it to London, it's only a short train journey up from London yeah, anyway. Yeah, half hour on the train. So we're thinking we'll just do that. And if if a handful of people want to turn up, that's fine. If it ends up being loads of us, that's fine. If it's fine. just me and Nick's fine, date night. Could just be us. <laughs> well, well, Tom's going to be here, hopefully. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me, you and Tom. <laughs> yeah. We did one of these meetups about, what was that, three years ago now? Oh, Anya says they are the nicest couple. Thank you, Anya. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, we did. We had a meet up here in Hitchin. Is that three years ago now? Or is it two years? It might be two years ago. Um, yeah. Oh, it was a long time ago. It was, it, was a, just, it was about the time of Brexit. So, you know, about 20 million years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still trying to sort that out. And it was just a really good um, day and evening was quite 
fun. It was messy um, and funny. And Hitchin, it's a great place to go out. There's plenty of pubs we can we can you know select to sit in and meet up. So we will. The date we've come up with is Saturday the 22nd of September. Mm. So we will work around that. And if anybody wants to come down, either just for the day or, you know, I can share some cheap hotels around here. If people really wanted to go all out and come down for the night, then, yes, we will make that happen. Something's going to yeah. happen. There's lots of places to stay around Hitchin. We've got Premier Inn and yeah, yeah. lots of places. Yeah, it, yeah it, the, the northern one um, in a couple of weeks is Chesterfield. I thought it was, but I didn't want to say just in case I got it wrong. But, yeah, that's Chesterfield. Kelly's just said that. So, yeah, sorry we can't make that. I really, <laughs> yeah, I really that, am sorry because I wanted to meet people. But. I think the one that's happening up north is more really quite an organised thing. I think they're having guest speakers and, yeah, and stuff like I that. Yeah, that. There's what we're talking yeah. about is we're meet, not meeting in a pub Um sharing a chat and a drink and and just chatting about reselling mm. um yeah. just, just a casual get, get really yeah casual get together in a pub so mm. don't expect you know sit down conference type thing that's really not us so anyway yeah. so that is happening um 22nd of september is what we are looking at right now which is a saturday more information to follow on that so yeah, and Chris just said, Nick, are you and Tom still doing the auction event you were talking about? Yep, I spoke to Tom about that today. Uh, we need to settle on a date for that as well. And then everybody who offered to donate something to the auction, I will get in touch with and we will make that happen. Uh, if you haven't seen when we've talked about that before, um, we're going to do a, a, it's going to be a charity auction uh, to raise funds for cancer research or Macmillan. I'm not sure. It depends what Tom wants to do. Yeah. Um, I because there, Tom, go on. There was, wasn't it something to do with the hospice that Tom wanted Yeah, to we need to decide where the money's yeah. going to go. But Tom, Tom's mother sadly lost her battle with cancer last year. So we're going to do this in memory of his mum. Uh, and the idea is we will donate some stuff to it. Tom will. And then any other resellers who want to can join in a live stream where we will sell stuff off live on air. All proceeds will go to the charity. So that will probably be in September sometime as well, but we haven't decided on a date for that. Yeah. <sighs> Lex is saying that Bristol would be good for a meetup. It would be, yeah. Yep. Because you know, there are obviously lots of Southwest sellers. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we just felt, um, because we'd mentioned the meetup uh, sometime in the summer, we just we just had to make something happen. So that's that's all we yeah. can come up with, oh, really. Meet people. And yeah, we're going to do it here. Well, not here in not this here. house. <laughs> <laughs> not enough room. <laughs> so apart from that, we were going to go out boot sailing today, but weather turned yeah, quite I, bad. I got up early and then I got myself all dressed and everything. And I thought, oh, it's raining. And then I came up, I looked at my phone app and it just said rain all morning. So I showed Nick and he went, I get back in bed. So I did. <laughs> Very yeah. close. Well, I was all ready to get up at half six and go and do the whole shebang today. Um, but it didn't happen. But we did go out on a little jolly because Ellen went up to London to go to a YouTuber conference thing. What's it called? Summer in the City. Summer in the City. So we had Saturday to ourselves. Yeah. So what do you do when you don't have a child around? You go sourcing tap. You go out charity <laughs> shopping. So we went um, to two or three three different towns around here and um, we didn't find an awful lot but we found a couple of interesting things that we're going to share with you and we made a video of the day which hopefully would be quite fun to watch so that'll be out during the week as well yes. well Gavin's saying that Hitchin is a great night out and it's only 10 minutes from him so oh Ho Gavin hopefully you'll yes. be able to make it Gavin yeah if you're about Gavin 22nd yeah. September yeah come down somebody else said about karaoke we could try and find a karaoke <laughs> bar <laughs> Yeah, I'm I not know. sure in Hitchin if there no. is one. There used to be a pub that did it, but I don't know if they still do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah, Hitchin is a good night out. So um who is mentioning Kerry? Oh, flipping fantastic yeah, okay. finds. That's Kelly. Kelly. Make it down, Kelly. Come on. We'll find <laughs> somewhere to do karaoke. Right. So do you want to share the bits you picked up? Yeah. Because oddly, we went out charity shopping. Who bought all the stuff? I know. You did try to stop me from buying stuff. No, only I've got too much stuff to list. 
I didn't try and stop you. Only that one item of clothing, because the clothing backlog is crazy. By the way, yes, this is still here. This oh, is all um, the clothing we're week, clearing. Definitely next week I will um, post about that, yes. As you know, we've had things have been a bit it's mad been, yeah, here. We've had the holiday and then yeah, just... And then the week after that, for obvious reasons, was just a write-off because I couldn't function. And um, then I had to go to guide camp. Yeah, and I just tried really hard last week to get back into listing stuff and getting back into sorting out everything. I had like millions of relists, not a lot literally, but lots of relists to do as well. So last week was just busy, busy, and I didn't have time to sort that out. But that is a priority for next week. So if anyone's still interested, you might not be, you might not care anymore. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I will be in touch about that. Okay. So, so yeah, um, I picked up a couple of bits. There was a sale rail, but it wasn't a pound. It wasn't a pound rail, which is very disappointing. But um, this was three pounds, and it is Henry Holland. I'm not sure. I think this might be the one he did for Debenhams. If he did Debenhams, I'm not sure, actually. Let's look at the other label. Um, but the House of Holland is a designer label, and Henry Holland is a designer. And I love his designs, actually. He's really funky and quirky. I was just trying to see if this was Debenhams. Uh, Ian's asking... Yeah, this is the Debenhams label that he does, but it's still a good seller because, obviously, he's a... Um... I was just going to say, Ian was asking, how does he find out about the, the meetup that's happening in up north? If oh, you can find yeah. the Tat Chat group on Leah Facebook. And Claire, Claire and Leah, Leah and Claire, um, if you find them on Facebook or Instagram, then you should be able to see. Yeah, I was going to say on the Touch Up Facebook group, there's a link to it, I think, as well. I think they were promoting it in there. Okay, yeah. Oh. But yes, anyway, this is, as I said, he's, he's a sure? popular designer and it's a nice button-down summer dress. Um, so, yeah, I picked that up for £3 and hopefully that should sell okay. Um. Should I model that for you? Yeah, you're very good at modelling my you think? women's clothing. <laughs> so this, um, I'm going to shut the blind. Oh, Karen said, I got some Henry Holland tropical print, tropical print platforms. Oh, they sound good. And is... Robin A says, I sell Henry Holland. Yeah, that's cool. A bit like that. Yeah, this is a, a vintage. I Well, I'm not sure if it's 80s or 90s. It might be late 80s, early 90s. But it's a CNA brand, um, New Fast. It's got like two layers. Okay. This button's up here. Well, it's just got a panel in the middle. And then the to inside, make it look like... the inside button's up. Yeah. Anyway, I really liked it. And it's a button down dress. And I just liked the design of it. And the fact it's vintage. It says on there so... New, New Fast. Is yeah, it? it's CNA, but it's. Yeah. So I've got that. Um, they had a sale on in there as well. It actually says six pounds on the label, but it was only three pounds. And I looked at it and I thought, oh no, six pounds is too much. And then Nick pointed out the half price thing. Um, so I went back and bought it. So and what, then have oh, you any idea have you looked into pricing on this? Or no, are you just you just make up a price.com? Yeah, make up a price. Of what? 30? Getting well, at least 20. I think. Happy days. Yeah. And then this is an LK Bennett blazer, which was also in the sale. All the buttons are there. They're just not buttoned up. Um, and that was £5 in the sale. So I thought I'd give that a go because gonna... I do quite well with LK Bennett. So I'm just going to wipe the lens. Excuse me, guys. Oh, <laughs> better. Did you see the here's one where they were all like streaky? Oh, I did, yeah. And I was going, wipe the lens. It was, just, it was comedy, wasn't it? They're up and down ladders. <laughs> At that moment where... The, I think I wrote wipe the lens about 10 times. That moment where Beck wasn't sure if the ladder was safe. <laughs> I was waiting for a big crash when she fell I off the step well. ladder or whatever. I was as well. Unless she was standing on a box. Or something. Oh, was it a box? That was it. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, it's nice. It's got really, it's got like... Not glass, no plastic, but glass effect. It's more right. for me. Buttons. Now, who yeah. somebody famous wears this? Oh, stuff? um, yeah, the Duchess of Cambridge. Oh. Kate Middleton. 
Right, so, so what did you yeah. pay on that? Five pounds. Ooh. It was down from eight pounds, so. So what are you going to yeah. aim for on that then? Not sure, but a lot more. <laughs> more than five, one more would hope. More than five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So and, um, moving forward, we were discussing, because we've had real issues with backlog, so you're going to buy fewer higher priced items and then, um, and then really yeah. go that way with it. Because... Well, we've had a big discussion since since coming back from holiday really because when you have time away it kind of gives you time to think about things and um and then when we went to the boot sale last week i really enjoyed sourcing stuff together again and um you know all of that so i'm thinking that i'm not going to give up selling clothing because i really enjoy it but um pick up less of it and go more sort of generalist again so that we can sort of pick stuff up and list together again and hmm. not in the same room because we'll drive each other mad but you know pick stuff up and list together again uh flip and fantastic finds yes um kelly kelly yes um says 90s grunge very mm. courtney love yeah, i definitely. thought the same thing definitely. you could see them with you could see her doc in that martins. on stage with yeah. the guitar some doc martins yeah definitely yeah, yeah leslie funny. loves the jacket um yeah pixie dust gaming honey and andrea did you get my message through oh, ebay i don't know i haven't seen it no I then don't know i haven't seen them unless it's come through in the last sort of five ten minutes i haven't i don't know i haven't seen one not sure um right let me scroll to the end let me catch up in the chat oh blimey sorry we're not keeping up Jay, just done our last charity shop haul for a while as hubby is having a knee replacement. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Well, all the best with that. Yeah. I'm turning into nursey for a while. Mm. Well, I hope that all goes smoothly. Yeah, I hope so. Um, it's crazy, though. They have they operate and then you're out in a couple of days. The lady mm. that was in, I was in hospital with, she had a knee replacement and then she was literally out a couple of days later now if you're up hobbling about the next day yeah they want you to get moving yeah. quick um caroline's in or caroline and phil or phil on his own welcome really enjoyed your hangout the other night guys that was fun um peter ray says we'll message you near the time nick about the meetup Yes, I'd, I'd love it if you could make it, Peter. I know it's a bit further up for you than London. I know you were keen to for it to be in London, but this this works out well easier for us, I know. But I think it, it's just a really nice place to have it here. So hopefully, Peter, you can make it. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um. Right. What else? Oh, well, you can see what else Andrew bought. <laughs> Might have picked up something that was bamboo cane or or wicker or something like that. <laughs> Hang on, I've got issues. Well, we all know. Well, we all know I've got issues, but yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Andrea spotted two items. This is the first yeah. one. This is the smaller item as well. <laughs> this was £2.50. You can see that. I don't know if you can. Um, so, this stuff yeah, is still really on trend and it, and it is selling it well. It is. I've searched. I've had a look through comps. These are obviously a lot more common, this, this style of magazine rack. So, I'm um, looking at probably be between 15 and 25 pounds so i'll probably aim high and then come down if i need to um well 20 with shipping i think yeah. would be but i really place. like the design so it'll also go on etsy so i just need a big box yeah and i'm gonna need an even bigger box yeah this one is the best one hold on bear with tea for tiny people this one, oh, God, it's a bit bulky. Hold on, mind your head. One of them. Yeah. So this is also a side table and a magazine rack. And this one was was it five pounds? Five pounds. Five pounds for that one. Um, I've looked at comps on that one. Exactly the same sold for forty pounds. So I'm quite pleased with that. Did they have shipping on top? No, free shipping. Oh. I reckon we get shipping on top. I think so. Yeah, so and it's obviously more sought after because it's also a table. So, yeah, it's um, a much more practical piece. Mm. When we were buying these, do you remember the lady went, "Oh, you could put one baby in there and one baby in the yeah, other one." I was, was like, very odd. 
What? That's very what? odd. She didn't say it like she was joking either. I was like, okay. It might be in the video because I, I was filming when you were oh, buying yeah, the yeah. stuff. I haven't edited that yet. <gasps> so anyway, Andrea's Wicker Obsession, at, well, Kane more like, this is Kane furniture, but Wicker and Kane Obsession carries on. But we have, um, oh, that's about it from the haul. I only bought a couple of board games, which are just bog standard stuff. You've all seen a hundred times, so I won't bore you with that. But we did find these dinky little. <laughs> I think Caroline, hi Caroline, by the way, she said, um, said baby, what have, have you, what have you got to tell us? Well, that would be a miracle. But um, <laughs> we can't have babies anymore. Not anymore. No, it's um, physically impossible. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know why we're sharing that, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, we um, were in another shop and they had a sale on, so everything was half price. Yeah, so they were 75p each, which was quite cheap anyway, but the 75p for the pair. And as you can see, these are friends, and, um, um, little, what would you call it? Tiny... Um, espresso, mugs, Espresso, I would say. that's what I was looking for. So you've got a green yeah. one and then a matching orange, so they go as a little set. Mm. We did. I did quickly look at completed while we were there. I think at seventy five p, it's hardly much of an investment. So we'll be, we were going to buy them anyway. But I was interested. Somebody had sold them. I think maybe it was on bids, and it went for a starting bid of two pound fifty or something like that, which was a waste of time. Somebody else has them listed at eighteen pounds a pair. So yeah, perhaps we'll go something like fifteen pounds or something like that. See what happens. I think Christmas gift market for those. Yeah, definitely. For that Friends fan. And believe me, there are millions of Friends fans. Yeah. Our daughter's obsessed with Friends. Um, so, yeah, they were cool. Yeah. And pretty much that was it for all yeah. of our charity shop, apart from the couple that. of bits I bought that were really dull. Yeah, that was it. Um, but um, the, video, the video should be quite interesting. Pixie so Dust says, someone is selling a cage full of wicker baskets 20 minutes away from you um in Welling Garden City um Isabel there. Hospice yeah. <coughs> I know it yeah I didn't I haven't seen that listing but I will look into that yeah yeah thanks for the tip off yeah, let me make thanks. a note yeah they sell off it's a big charity run um that's they do the jumble sales that we go to bi-monthly yeah 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 it's a big charity around here and they they sell off like overstocks yeah. of stuff on eBay they quite often sell like pallets and crates full of stuff oh, I didn't know that actually yeah Alison and Stuart buy stuff from them sometimes. Oh, okay. I'll make a note to go and look. Yeah. Go with. Um, okay, so. Doesn't Yeah, Nevermore Antique says it doesn't even look like a baby item. No, it doesn't. They, they look, well, I think she thought they were little, like, doll cots or something. I don't know what she thought. <laughs> Very strange. Has Nick been snipped? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not talk about that. Well, might as well. It's not an embarrassing thing, is it? And, and you've had a hysterectomy. Yeah, I had to for health reasons. But anyway, anyway yeah, moving <laughs> on. past that. So the other yeah. thing I thought we'd quickly share because um, before we had tea, I was quickly. I like to get organised on a Sunday night, ready for Monday morning, and just fish out orders that have come in today. So. Thought we might show you some of them yeah um oh lisa's me... in hi hi lisa hey there yeah leah's there she says sorry for being away so long i assume that's leah and not claire um i did see your instagram post earlier saying that you're busy with work etc yeah we were talking about the, the meetup that um you've been organizing yeah um feel free to put details in the side chat because a couple of people were asking about that yeah um we can't make it we've got so much going on over that period so it's just we can't really fit it in but we've been talking about organizing a meetup so we are doing something on the 22nd of september which we're going to base yeah. in our local town here in hitchin which is just going to be a casual open to anybody come and hang out in the pub yeah. kind of affair right yeah, so there'll be one more north and one more south. So people who are more south can. Yes. Originally, when we started talking about a meetup, um, David McGregor was helping to organise something much more formal that, that was more of a, an event. Um, but he had to postpone that because he's having a baby 
well, his wife was having a baby. He's not that clever. <laughs> they allowed to be sharing that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's out there. Oh, is that a bit? I, I think that's public knowledge. Right. Should we just share some bits that are going out? Yeah. Um, Heather once... says, sorry, just clicking on my drink. Um, which place is best to stay in Hitchin? Um, well, as I said, there is a Premier Inn. There's also yeah. the Sun Hotel um, people stayed in last Sun time, Hotel, which is where we had our yeah. wedding reception, which is lovely. Which is I, I can find out for you guys, if anyone's thinking of coming up and spending mm -hmm. the day and wants to kip over uh, so you can come out on the town with us, which will be fantastic. Near the time, I can find out where the best rates are in Hitchin. There's a number of hotels, um, so I can find the best deal for you guys and let you know. Yeah, Leah says Stevenage, LOL. <laughs> That's fine, but then they've got to get back to Stevenage. It's a long way to walk. <laughs> What's that about but Stevenage? Yeah, there, is, there are places to stay in Stevenage. I think there's a travel lodge, maybe a Premier Inn. Or, or, oh, there's... Um, one in the town centre as well. So if well, you want to stay places. in Stevenage and get the train into Hitchin, then that's fine. There's plenty of places in Hitchin anyway. <laughs> George says, Nick and Andrew have a spare room. They, we won't because Tom will be sleeping in it. <laughs> Tom's nabbed that room already. Yeah, it's not very spare. It's, all, it's, all... it's full of tat, so <laughs> yeah. he'll be perfectly at home. It's full of car parts. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Speaking of car parts, we'll just run through a few things that, that have, uh, orders that have come in today um, and then we can just have a chat. So, speaking of car parts, £15 uh, fuel filter, £10 air filter and a big Sangyong £15 air filter. There's not two in there, that's just a generic Im image. It's just one big oblong one. So these tick along day in, day out. Starting to get low on the ground on a shotgun. What does that mean? <laughs> shotgun. That's when you sit in the passenger seat in front of the car. Isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um sold. I love black and white Game Boy. I had the black and white Game Boy back in 1990, would it have been? Or 91 I had one. Um a lot of the games really don't hold much value. This is Alleyway. I only got a fiver for it, but it came as part of a bundle of stuff. It says claim in the spare room, Nick. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yours. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> oh, shotgun means first. Okay, I, I've never heard that before. Oh, I've always heard shotgun mentioned when you're when you're going somewhere in a car and someone shouts shotgun, which always means you get the front seat. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's gone out at a fiver. I bought... Um, a DS, a um, classic black and white Game Boy, and a bunch of games. I sold the DS at Amazon for, was it 60? 50 or 60 around there. So everything else is a bonus. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, welcome, left-handed hum hummingbird. It says, hello there. We are long time. Oh, that's disappeared. But they're long time watchers, and they're now um, saying hello. Saying hello. Yeah. That's a cool name, left-handed hummingbird. How did you come up with that? Um, still, oh, bye, Steve. Thanks for joining us. See you later, Steve. Uh, still clearing a bunch of Magic: The Gathering. I've marked a lot of it down now. I want to clear out the dregs of it. Um, these are cards that I'm selling off either individually or in little packs. So there's three uh, quieter spikes. It won't mean much to anyone. There, for example. Shield of Golden. Shield of Coldra, that sort of thing. So another five lots of those are going out. The great thing about these is they go as a letter, so there's very little cost to ship them. Um, what I tend to do is put the cards in one of these little protective sleeves. If it's only one card, I will put a couple of common cards in there that are worth virtually nothing, just to stop it being able to bend. Uh, I tend to have four cards in at a time, and then it's nice and stiff so it can't warp. And then they go as a standard letter. Um, another one of these, I bought a job lot of these way back at the car boot sale. I had about 70 or 80. I think I've got 25 left now. They're going out at five pounds each. Last week, picked up this. Do you remember how much I bought it for? You couldn't remember last week. No, not at all. 20p. 20p. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I obviously can't retain that. <laughs> no, it's 
because like i said last week your brain is just full of um useless information and song lyrics yeah that's what it is um glass hammer says um my son has just laid out 250 magic the gathering cards on the floor and asked me to play how long does it take to learn the game um, quite a long time <laughs> no it's it the, the basics of it are really quite simple it sounds complicated when someone tries to explain it yeah i i would recommend anyone to have a go if you're into that sort of fantasy style of card game it is the best fantasy card game out there yeah um iptv sports said hi nick and andrew you might remember from a while ago i was going to send you a gopro i'm very sorry that i couldn't i had to sell my shop really gutted as it was my life and i had to sell all my products very sorry i couldn't get it to you I, that's not an issue not an really issue at all it was it that's you've had to do that it was a generous offer yeah i'm I really know, sorry you've had to go through that i know the feeling because we had to do the same thing yeah we had to close so. your close your clothing shop uh it's yeah, never so easy i'm really sorry that's that's happened you know. Andrea looks tired. You look tired. Oh, apparently. I think I am a bit today. I feel a bit weird today. You, you were up quite early. Then yeah, you, but then I went back to bed. Then you came back to bed. That was probably my downfall. I probably should have just stayed up. Yeah. I wish Tar plays magic. I stopped playing a, a number of years back, and when I've been clearing all of this uh, big haul I had, I actually cleared my own collection of cards and my own decks that I'd built up. I may well come to regret that, but yeah anyway going back to this last week bought it for 20 pence uh listed it at i think it was 17.99 i plumped for in the end with shipping on top it's gone on gsp it's going to italy um i had my own no it's not gsp sorry i had my own international shipping on it um so they paid an extra i think it was 10 or 12 pounds to have it sent international tracked and signed so that's that uh, oh, we've that. had a super chat from um, Claire and Leah. It says, thanks for plugging the event. Got Dash. Catch me on Instagram. Claire and Leah resell. Anyone interested in the event, I update there. Much love. Thank Fantastic. you, guys. Yeah, and, so... um, yeah, again, really sorry we can't make it because I wanted to. Um, yeah. But... Make sure you do a video or, or go, go live while it's happening and share yeah, it with I'm us. I'm sure there'll be lots of, at least on Instagram, yeah. things going on. Best of luck with it all. And yeah, more than happy to help promote it. Um, so yeah, what else? Uh, also listed this only recently. Easy to sell. It's a box or a tub of Duplo. Always check through tubs of Duplo because there will be mega, mega blocks in there. There was a handful in here, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a hundred, about a hundred and something bricks. I think I got 13, 14 pounds plus shipping, something like that. Happy days. Can't remember what I paid on it. A pound or two? Yeah. Oh, that chunky we picked up sold as well. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, I think this was last week as well. I remember how much you paid for that now. Four pounds. <laughs> Four pounds. High five. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, not masses of value in it. Uh, I listed it at 15 with 6 99 shipping to cover Hermes. So that's gone out. Yeah. Bettina Tucker. Hi, Bettina. I uh, said hi to both. This is my first time being on here live with you. I love watching you with all your blogs. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to see you in the side chat. Oh, a Scotsman said, um, what happened to the Ralph Lauren jacket that I sent to Sweden? Did the buyer accept or return? Well, never heard another word. So, um, yeah, he accepted. <laughs> and it, it yeah. Ralph, oh, the two hundred pound jacket. Yeah, that denim jacket that went to Sweden. That was a one pound. No, was it a pound it at was a jumble? A pound at a jumble sale. Yeah, yeah, that was a great sale. Um, oh, a few of your bits that you bought in earlier. What have you been selling? Yeah, skirt. That was skirt. Was actually mine. I bought it in a sale years ago, and then it, it was just one of them things I never wore. So um, I just sold it for more than I bought it for. <laughs> you made money on it, and you bought it new. Not wow, much, not much, but a little bit. Well, this this is how Andrea. This is how you store your stuff. These yeah. are we buy these in bulk. Um, I don't know if the the link to that is is below in the description. It might be on the videos. If not, if you go through to our blog, all the products we use are there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you store them like this, don't you? Yeah. With a little reference number, which you put in the reference number, and then I put in a little thank you card. 
Yeah. I don't know if you can read that on there. Yeah, so when I pick it, it's easy enough just to pick, put it straight in one of our eBay bags, address it, off you go. And what else did you sell? What's that? That is an Evans dress. Evans dress. Not that you can really see it, but no. Um, that was an awful, wasn't it? Of fourteen pounds. Yeah, it's been, that's hung around for a while. So now you were saying you you switched back to. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about that actually. Post. That um, I just yeah, I I got a bit fed up really, and in the end, I put all I put postage back on every single item I've got, and I've been selling loads. So um, yeah, with this whole we really you know eBay trying to push us to have free postage, and um, they'll you know we. We won't be as visible if we have postage on it and all this business. I say rubbish because I've been selling quite a lot in this last week and I've just put postage back on everything. So, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I don't pay a lot of mine. Actually, I had a question on a video recently. I think it was one where I was sharing sales going out and, you know, one item would have postage on it, the next item would be free shipping and then the next item would have postage and somebody... Rightfully so, said Nick, why are some postage and why are some not? How do you decide? What's the whole idea? It's whatever takes my fancy at the time. If if the, the if it's something that's worth, I, I think I'm going to sell for like 17 with three pounds shipping, in my brain, that's a nice item to go 20 pound free shipping because it works. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And then stuff like trading cards, for example, I will have 99p shipping. But then I'll have an offer where if you buy any more, mm. the following ones you get free. And you can't do that discount if you have the shipping built in, that sort of thing. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I kind of do a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, You're going to talk about what Karen's just Karen's said. Karen's just yeah. said, just check Premier in Hitchin at the Mo is 82 a night. It's a lot, isn't There's it? There's probably cheaper places in Hitchin that I can find out for you guys. Um, but she says uh, for a twin room, um, so – people doubling up might be an idea that would be fantastic if people want to get together and, and make it cheaper yeah but yeah i will look at maybe i'll do that sooner than later i'll ring around hitchin and find out if there's cheaper offers there's bound to be cheaper than 82 a night mm -hmm. I don't know. mind you that's if that's a twin that's not terrible mm. okay oh ice age never more antiques i started playing when ice age came out this is magic the game oh, okay. um but able to collect a lot of alpha beta and revides revised cards early on wow fantastic Stuart says he's been watching our holiday videos looks like a great holiday it was it was a really good holiday we had a yeah. holiday of a lifetime um yeah there, um, there are there more a question for me but you've skipped past it have i mm -hmm. where there no further back um, um, um there from sean Andrea, do you sell clothes on Amazon? Um, I'm finding difficult because their brand, because they're a brand and Amazon are strict. Um, no, because you have to be ungated to, to sell clothing. And I think you have to be a wholesaler or at least buy from a wholesaler to get ungated. And no, I've never gone down that road. No is the quick answer there. I know, but I just wanted to explain. I think you yeah. have to be ungated and therefore you have to be buying from a wholesaler and all that business. So no, I haven't ever done that. Um, Celtic Traders, I gave up on free postage and found no change in my sales, but making more money. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Caroline, I guess that is. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it was a good experiment. <laughs> and Karen says, ditto, Andrea, with new policies coming in as well, post is going to go back on. Yeah. Yeah, it's, in, it's interesting that the direction eBay is going with some stuff. Well, we had a chat about it in the uh, Tat Chat over on Zaheer's channel, so check that out if you haven't already. We were talking through the email we've all had about eBay's new direction in returns and that sort of stuff. And mm. Yeah, <clears throat> I was in a bit of a grumpy mood that day. I was, I was, I was not being particularly positive about it all. No, well, I, did, I watched that back, actually. Uh, another thing, a C19, <laughs> whatever that is. What was that? C19. Oh, that was a vintage um, St. Michael's uh, blazer, but it was sort of long and it had like embroidered. You can see if you look up, I will probably share it in the next video, um, like embroidered pattern on the front of it. It was quite cool. <coughs> so, yeah. Dusty. 
Um, Caroline oh. says, oh, I'm weird, but I love the crinkly sound on the plastic bags. <laughs> yeah, you're weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you put that over? No there? argument there, Caroline. Yeah. And then this finally went. Um, remember what I saw about that? 17 rings a bell. Okay. Or was that this? No. No, that was 17. Well, that what, was I'll, definitely 17. I'll find that for you. Oh. Go on, you talk about that and I'll get your price. Yeah, so I've had that listed for a little while, uh, a few months, no, yeah, a few months, I suppose. Um, but it's finally sold and Nick's going to eventually. Well, I'm just opening the eBay app again, it froze. I don't know how much. I did drop the price on it because I did have it on high to start with because I liked it so much that I just wanted to see if I could get a high price on it. Oh, I've got a new message. Do you oh, reckon that'll be um, the one from Pixie Death? Oh, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. I've got your message. Yeah. Okay, I'll, <gasps> yeah, I'll cool. read that in a bit. Right. Um, um, yeah. £17 off of there. Hey, let me go into sales. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm making a meal of this. You are. I've just got to know a price. Right. Hey, that's all. Hurry. Keep your pants on. <laughs> there, £17. I was right oh, the first okay. time. It was, it was seven. It was... Plus three ninety nine shipping. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So where was that from and how much did you pay? It was from a boot sale, and I paid a pound. Okay. Yeah. And then this one? That well, that was sixteen ninety nine, I think. I'll find out for you, shall I? Find out. Yeah. I think we showed this on a Sunday haul, actually, when I bought it. It was from the vlog when I bought a few different baskets. Sixteen ninety nine and seven ninety nine shipping. Oh, that's because it's yeah, because go... it's big and it's the Hermes. Hermes. So we've well, that's quite a good place to do it. We saw something else as so, well. I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> yeah. To infinity and, and beyond. beyond. I've got my legs out, guys. Nobody really wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, are you, are oh. you, you going to read that message? Is it is it oh. broadcastable? Um, it said in the side chat what it was about. Um, oh. The okay. Isabel Hospice. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's gone. What's he gone for? I don't um, know why I didn't pick that earlier because it's sold. Mm. Uh, 15 and 2.99 shipping. I do have another one of these. So, yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Um, Karen says, Andrew, on your clothing, what is your rough? Oh, I'll have to go back because it's disappeared. Um, what is your rough turnaround time on clothing? It really depends. It's so up and down. I mean, I listed a few things last week as some sold straight away and other things just stick around for ages. So it's kind of, I don't know. I don't think there is any, any particular pattern to it. No, not no. at all. You may remember as well, uh, last haul we did, I had a bag of Lego. Mm -hmm. <laughs> message coming in i'll bet that someone is watching oh and you says sexy I'm, I'm assuming that means that you you with your legs out <laughs> of course oh i've somebody messaged me on on this baby carrier which is listed at 70 pounds mm -hmm. come on picture why is this going so slow that which is listed at 70 pounds and they said would i take 30. Uh, that's gonna be a no, no. <laughs> but yeah last week we shared a little bag of lego and it didn't have the instructions in um but we found this little pirate ship and we thought it might be ninjago it is ninjago so i i managed to find a listing on ebay and they had some pictures of it completed or built up and it didn't take too long surprisingly um and working from the pictures, I built it. It's called um, some sort of, they call it some sort of Zeppelin, as in an airship, which is what it is. But isn't that cool? I don't think it's worth a whole lot. I get about £10 in shipping or maybe £12 out of it. Did you enjoy building that? Yeah, I love messing about with Lego, as you, as you well know. Yeah. It's quite a cool little model, though, don't you think? Yeah. You were with the twins today, weren't you? I was with the, oh, oh the, can we Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, yes, oh, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> I was reminded of a story from today when you said, said about keeping my pants on. <laughs> I 
Oh my I share God. We got round to my sister's. It. I don't know if I can. <laughs> of course you can. Shall I explain how she told me? Yes. I got round to my sister's and all the kids, they've got two four-year-old daughters and Nina, who is now two, mm. they were all upstairs messing around. So, so Joe said, yeah, just go up and say hi. And I went in there and they were all like, hey, coming up, give me a hug. And then... Um, it was, was it Erin or Iris? Erin. Um, I think it was Erin. I think it was Erin. She says, Nick, Nick. I'm like, what? She went, I went to Lidl. I said, yeah? No, yeah. I went to Aldi. Oh, yeah. No. Aldi? I can't wasn't remember. Then? Yeah, I think you just relayed it differently. So she said, you, yeah, anyways. She goes, I went to Lidl or Aldi, one of the other. But I had my Nunu out. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I went to find a little with my new and i went what do you mean i thought surely she doesn't mean what i'm thinking she's meaning and i said do you want to explain that to me erin she goes well i went swimming and when i got out i, re I realized i still had my knickers on <laughs> under my costume and i'm like try not to laugh at her so of course when they got changed Joe, my sister's there, and she's got a child with ringing wet knickers on, and they needed to go shopping. So, so she said, "Right, Erin, we're going to go shopping, but just make sure you keep your dress down because we don't have any dry knickers for you." So she went round Aldi with a. So when Nick came back downstairs, he he relayed what she'd said, and we were all giggling. And when he said, <laughs> he said, she said she went to Aldi, <laughs> and then she goes no 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 that's not right and we're all waiting for her to say no that the, the second thing that she said wasn't right because it was little <laughs> yeah she was all because i said i was laughing when i came down i was saying to you and ellen wasn't that oh it's so funny ellen just explained that she was going around aldi with with her nunu out, with her nunu out. Because, no, she went, no no she went, no that's not right no that's it not right little. it was little <laughs> I thought, oh my god if only i'd have been filming that for that was just so so funny. Oh, I love hilarious. those kissed a bit. And then I was just messing around with Jeff. This is Jeff, and he was going around, and yeah, they were feeding him. Yeah. Anyway. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Keep your pants on. Yeah. yeah. Where can an American purchase a pair of? pant shorts like nick is wearing asking for a friend i've no idea where i got these from i know uh, they're probably probably Ten? thrifted <laughs> no i think they might come from tesco oh maybe i've got like play-doh stuck on my oh, leg oh no hair. it's slime stuff, oh isn't slime it? they were playing with slime oh got yeah. everywhere yeah. Stu Mandry, yeah, the girlfriend's the same. Lost count how many times we've been thrown out of weight trains. <laughs> well, the thing is, just after that, I said to them, I said, oh, it's, don't worry, Erin, you know, whenever I go shopping, I don't wear pants. And they're at an age where they kind of just take you seriously. So she's looking at me and all like, really? I said, yeah. She goes, why? I said, I just prefer it that way. <laughs> and she just took it all in. Those girls, though, they would prefer to be naked all the time. I mean, just even in the winter, they're like constantly taking all their clothes off. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Funny. Slime is in at the moment. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. They made it while they were on holiday, didn't they? Nobody wears knickers in Swindon. <laughs> Ooh, should we get Swindon? Have a weekend in Swindon, shall we? Oh, Star Fox says, what year is the bus from? Um, I don't think I could actually find a year on it. I can't remember. No, I think they worked out the other one, didn't they? I, um, it had some different markings on it. I spent a while finding out or trying to find completed for the same one mm. and found he wasn't a particularly valuable one. And he had a couple of issues, which is why I didn't go very high on him. Um, but I don't remember what year he was or if I even found the year on him. So, yeah. <laughs> just laughing away at comments here. Don't know if I should read it out. Yeah, read them out. <laughs> well, Jay Ben Excuse says, um, Nick's all fair coat and no knickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, as long as it's fake fur. 
Joel says, has the weather finally gotten bearable down south? Yes. Now it's just dull. <laughs> it's horrid. It's one or the other, isn't it? Lovely and hot or just dull and rainy. There's a question now. I'll quickly touch on it. Um, pro, pro Evo Bob. Uh, I haven't bought anything from car boots or charity uh, shops yet. I'm just asking how you would input these details if you were a full-time reseller. Can you get receipts or another way? Well, anything from charity shop, obviously you should get a receipt and that is fully claimable for tax. When you're making cash purchases, I made a couple of videos. I actually rang the HMRC and said, how should I go about recording this for business purposes? What we do is we keep a cash ledger cash purchases ledger and make a note of what we buy where we buy it and the date etc but technically that isn't enough for tax purposes but if you watch those videos uh i, I made a video and it was a follow-up video with a lot of information from the community and people that have had issues with this and the tax man but pretty much for cash purchases that's all you can do um so that's what we do but yeah um there are a couple of videos on my channel if you search uh, I don't know, Nick Hill's tax, they might come up. Okay. Karen says, my daughter just bought a lifetime supply of putty and slime making stuff. Went out yesterday. Wow. That stuff gets everywhere. Yeah. Oh, was it Erin that had it stuck in her hair and pulled out half her hair? Yeah. Trying to get it out. They're just mad. Yeah. Richard says, I think it's, excuse mm -hmm. me, I think it's the buzz with the chrome belt that is worth really good money. Okay. And any of the Thinkway line of toys as well, the higher end ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone quiet while we're reading the chat. Evermore Antique says he's been listening to Depeche Mode for 20 minutes now. Who has? never more antiques perfect um i was just reading well oh it's jumped again oh no no, yeah. no, no no where was i oh i was reading a comment there Ta -da. <laughs> a man walks naked into this is lisa by the way a man walks naked into a mental hospital except for cling film around his bits Doctor looks at him and says, "Sir, I can clearly see your nuts." Oh, oh dear me! Okay. Oh, it's singing along to uh, to Pesh Mode there. Enjoy the silence. Yeah. They are enjoying the silence because we're not saying anything. <laughs> it's difficult to read and talk at the same time. Oh. Oh, another joke from Lisa. What do you get if you cross Peter Pan with travel sickness pills? A boy who never throws up. A boy who never throws up. I love that. Oh, dear. What's Gavin saying there? Guys, how do you determine what goes to FBA? Mainly price, really. If I think I can get more for it up there, um, once you factor in the fees, then I'll send it away. Sometimes I send stuff that I've got a lot of and I just want it out, out of the way, even if it's going to be similar to potentially even a little bit less money um also if it if it's bulky ra stuff i like to get it out of the house and for someone else to deal with the packaging of it so that sometimes influences my decision but it's mainly to do with price well it's nine o'clock is it yeah think about wrapping things up okay nick where is the furthest you travel for boot sales Furthest one we go is probably how far is that? 15, 20 miles. That one over Red Bull mm. Um We're quite lucky in a way in that there's a, a fair number really not far from here. Um, so we don't have to do a lot of traveling. So yeah, <laughs> mostly South local. Go on. Gary Southwest Seller says, just can't get enough tat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be a That's good T-shirt, isn't it? See, there's a yeah. T-shirt. Just yeah, can't definitely. get enough tat. Yeah. Lisa's blood sugars are a bit low. 
always makes me a bit I don't daft. Know. I think it's just an excuse, Lisa. I was going to say, so you what's just, your excuse for all the rest of the time, Lisa? <laughs> you're just daft, and that's fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Star Fox was saying just before, I just wanted to read that. Saw a Spyro 2 brand new black label for £400 and a Spyro 3 used for 99 yeah. Wow. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn jokes now, Lucy. How God. do you tell the clan of a Scotsman? <laughs> Put your hand up his kilt. If he's a quarter pounder, he's a McDonald's. Oh if he, oh, if he's a quarter pounder, he's a McDonald. Uh, nice. Uh, Lex says, question, have you seen the 129.99 challenge on Celtic Traders page? No. Oh, I haven't. I will go and check it out. Oh, Elaine's off. Thank you for joining us, Elaine. Yes. Well, we and, will yeah, be yeah, off I'm shortly. Yeah. Pixie Dust, thank you for that. Yes. She says, if I find anything else like the wicker baskets, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. Just drop me a message. Um, I can always take a look. Yeah, Sam, so scroll down a minute. because I think There's a cage full of media. Me. Yeah, I have seen their media cages. Mm. Um, it tends to be a load of crap. <laughs> uh, they've also done cages of board games and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought from them no. so far. Well, what am I doing? The comment that I was going to read is, is above. disappeared above somewhere. Where? Wow, difficult. Where it's going quick. I don't know. I think it must have jumped. I don't know. We've lost a comment then. Yeah. How very yeah. dare you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> it's fine. All the best people are. Um, hi, guys. I, th I thought I saw in one of your videos you have a disc repair. Yes, I have uh, a disc repair machine. Uh, JFJ Easy Pros. Easy Pro. Can I ask where you got it? It was actually one of um, our subscribers um, who had it and wasn't using it, and he sold it to us. What did I pay? 100, 100 or something like that? I can't remember. Was it even know. that much? I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember, I don't guys. Remember Isn't that bad? Let alone um, how much you pay for things. I'm just trying to find where I thought I'd seen a comment. <clears> that's going to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Right, well, we're going to wrap this one up. Oh, hang on. Let's end on a Barry Francis joke. Yeah. Um, when I die, I want to go peacefully in my sleep like my granddad, not screaming in terror like his passengers. <laughs> like his passengers. Fantastic. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nevermore. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And he says Lisa's on a roll. Yes. Um, okay right we're gonna wrap this up thank you for spending your sunday evenings yeah. with us um it's always a pleasure never a chore um next week i don't know what we'll be up to we might have a haul yeah well we're going to rewind next week oh so we won't oh, be here then oh no we won't we won't be here <laughs> penny drops <laughs> no we won't be here are we next. definitely there sunday night yeah we could do monday night instead we may do Monday night instead. Yeah, but Sunday night we won't be here. So we're going away on the Friday. Going away on the Friday. Ellen's going to Germany on Thursday. Ellen goes and, to Germany. And the mum in me is like, oh, <laughs> I'm just. She'll have a whale of a time. Having anxiety. I know. I know Imagine, she will. guys. And who she's going to Germany with, I, I trust with my life. So I know she's going to have a whale of a time. So being 16, going yeah. to Berlin with your best friend and her mum. And her mum. They're not going, they're not just, you yeah, know. They're not yeah. going on a 16 year old jolly. So they'll be having a Even though I wouldn't time. even worry if they were because the two girls are so sensible. <laughs> but oh, Lisa's birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday, Lisa. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. And he says, wow, to Germany. I know. Yeah. I went to Germany once and I spent some time with you, <laughs> even though, you know, you're not German. <laughs> And I went to Holland to stay with Anya. Uh, very good memories. Yeah. And we um, need we keep talking about the fact that we want to have a like a long weekend in Ho Holland and go and see Anya. So I don't know. Maybe we can think about that for next year. Yeah. Well, Anya, you're always welcome here. Uh, definitely. Always welcome here. So, yes, we will wrap this one up. Honest, we are going. Um, keep your eyes open for that um, video I put together. 
it, it's not a depressing one. I think it's really positive and uplifting about the day we went out to say goodbye to Monty. Um, and we, yeah. we visit the Blue Cross shelter and, and, and hand over yeah, the so donation. You can see where that because is. I just wanted to put one more thank you out there to everybody who actually donated um, to the Blue Cross. That yeah, will go it to will help make a huge difference. Help more dogs. Yeah. We couldn't go in, unfortunately, and show you a bunch of the dogs in there because they've changed the policy. They don't have an open kennel policy, but we did meet one lovely dog while we were there, didn't we? Oh, yeah, Nanook. Nanook. Oh, so gorgeous. So, yeah. Every dog's gorgeous, but yeah. I will release that video tomorrow, so please, if you're interested, have a look. And we'll see you nice. again Tuesday. Uh, I'll be here with Zaheer and other guests if they want to pop in. And we'll be back next Sunday. Are we done? No, we won't be back next Sunday. Oh, no. <laughs> we, this is where we were before. We we'll be, be back maybe no. next Monday. But, um, yeah. And as we always have, you know, point out that we have someone house-sitting here as well. So Yes. yes. Although Ellen's not going to be here. No. No. He'll be bored then, won't he? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we might, I might try and go live while we're at the 80s festival. Might try and do that if I've got enough battery. Do a little live thing that didn't work very well when we did the moonwalk you remember well, i went live um, we'll see we'll see how it works i'll make a video anyway oh we'll definitely make a video right we're still waffling what Wa waffling well, no, we could waffle for britain okay bye everyone Ta thanks Have for joining week. us take care